Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave. Uh, this is uh, I'm the UP Gamer, and what we're going to do today, we're going to play the whole thing of Amazonians Play Anything Draft from the draft all the way to the end, see how my deck does, um, and I'll show you just kind of my insights for what I'm picking and what other uh, people are playing against it. So we're let's buy in and see what we're going to get. Okay, for this, Apex of Power is an awesome card for it. Um, so is Arcane Encyclopedia. This is basically one draw every turn. And this, the whole thing that you're looking for with this setup is draw. So I'm going to take the Arcane Encyclopedia. Divination, huge card. Draw two. Yep, perfect. Uh, Salvager of Secrets. When Salvager of Secrets enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. That's perfect in conjunction with Divination. Now, what I like to do, um, Blood Divination, great. So, with the combo that I like to play, you got Salvager of Secrets, you put it on the board, you play your Divination, that goes into your graveyard. Then, you play uh, Macrobe Waltz, or, and then what you do is you pull the Salvager of Secrets back out of your graveyard, you play it. Once you play it, then you can pull back out your Divination, doing it again. The Blood Divination comes in to put your uh, Salvager of Secrets into the graveyard. Plus you draw three, so that's this is one of the best cards. Um, do the same thing with Disperse. Play Salvager of Secrets. You draw or get uh, Divination out of the graveyard. Disperse puts the Salvager of Secrets back in your hand. Then you cast Divination, and there you go. Um, Lava Axe is great. I've won many games on here with Salvager of Secrets and Lava Axe. Rocks. Uh, Oracle. Great card. You put it on the battlefield. It's 4-2 plus you draw a card when it enters. Yep. There's that Macrobe Waltz card. You turn up to two target creatures from your graveyard to your hand, then discard a card. That is excellent with Salvager of the Secrets and also Lava Axe. All right, this little card totally lost. What you can do is basically stop your opponent from uh, drawing. Like I said, drawing is the biggest part of this whole uh, Amazonian play anything draft. So if you can stop them, so let's say they have anything. You know, they have, uh, say, this Child of Knights on their board. Well, if you do this, it puts that on top of their library. Then the next card they're going to draw is going to be Child of Night. So this is a good one to have too. Also, if your draw is dead, you can do it and then whatever card you put on top of your library, you draw. I've won games with Act of Treason. I've won games with Sovereign's Bite. We're going to... I think we're going to go with Act of Treason. Inspired Charge can win you games as well. Anticipate is a huge card in this format. It's basically, um, you look at the top three cards of your library, and then you pick one to go into your hand. So it gives you a choice of three to pick exactly what you need to continue playing your hand. We're just going to take the big creature, and then we get a land. So here, um, Cancel is really big. Lava Axe can be really big. I've won games with uh, Trumpet Blast. Here, I think I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Lava Axe. Double Cast. Double Cast is very nice, but not as nice as Heroic Reinforcements. When you cast Heroic Reinforcements, it makes everything you cast uh, all your creatures haste. So if you you know if you're going through a big long draw 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 draw, and you got say six eight creatures on the board, boom Heroic Reinforcements. They're all hasted. Boom. I've won games on my first turn with this card, so yeah, we're definitely going to take this. Another Salvager of Secrets. Pull more cards out of our graveyard. My game seems to be lagging a little bit. Um, we're going to do Disperse again. Um, Abnormal Endurance is great, too, because 
What you can do is pe play that Salvager of Secrets, then you cast this on it, Abnormal Endurance, and then when this creature dies, return it to the bat battlefield tapped under your, the owner's control, so you can do this. You cast that onto the Salvager of Secrets, which returns a creature card from your graveyard, and you use Blood Divination to kill the Salvager of Secrets. You'll draw three. As soon as you kill it, it goes back onto the field, and then you can pull Blood Divination back out of your graveyard. So it's a nice little combo. So I don't know if we should take that or Disperse. I think we're going to do Disperse. Just because Disperse, we can also put a Creature's card into their graveyard, which is nice, or into their hand. Uh, crash through, great. It's just uh, your creatures have Trample, and you draw a card, so... That works out really good for us in uh, in synergy with this heroic reinforcements. Here we have either revitalize or uncomfortable chill to draw. Uh, I don't have either of those, so there's one of each that we can draw. Another one of those. Now we're going to take a cancel. Double cast is a very good spell for this also, for obvious reasons. Duress, get, make the uh, people you're playing against get rid of their cards. Well, we're through two. What do we have here? Nothing to draw cards. Oh, yep, Sift. Sift is great. Uh, what Sift does is you draw three and then discard. And we're going to get another Revitalize. Would love some more Anticipates. We'll Sift again. Here, the best card. If we had any artifacts in our decks, you can take the Scholar of Stars. When he uh, hits the battlefield, you get you can draw a card. If you have an artifact, we don't. So we're going to go with... Actually, I'm going to go with uh, Ghost Bark Twins, just because they're 7-7. Seven, seven. Another Salvager of Secrets. We do hope to grab a couple more card draw here, though. We'll go with Epicure of Blood. Cancel. Another Crash Through. We're just taking the zombies for a big creature. Bone Dash, counter target creature spell, and draw a card. Another Revitalize. Now we'll do Mind Rot, another Disperse. Alright, so that's our deck. That's what I look for when I'm drafting. Yeah, I'm going to re reset the client here for a minute. Because it is it is taking its time. So I'll get rid of all these lands. Um, I don't really have any use for this. Or that. So that's going to be our deck. And then I'm going to just exit the game. It's even lagging while it's trying to exit. Load it back up here. It is taking its sweet time. Come on, magic. Hey, you can see I'm all decked out in my Packers gear. This is a Christmas present from my wife, or birthday present from my wife. All right, game's coming back up. Yeah, hopefully we have some fun games here. Get to six or seven wins. <coughs> the seven win decks that you have to play against, uh, the, well, the six card or the six win decks that you have to play against to get to seven are all very similar and very hard to beat. If you don't go first, it's tough. So let's see what we get. First one, first game, first game. Uh, 
All right. Who are we playing against? Sascro. I wonder if he's a Sasquatch fan. Yeah, this is a pretty good draw for us. We go first, so we have card draw here. We play that, then play Salvager of Secrets to get revitalized back. More draw. Yeah, it's very nice for us. Well, we're going to start with that. Just we don't want him to cancel our Arcane Encyclopedia. We want to be able to draw every turn. Anticipate is a great card. It's better than Revitalize. Just because you get to pick whichever card you want from the three. Salvager of Secrets. Get back Anticipate. Play it again. And we don't have anything that we can draw with. So we're going to take the rest. Excuse me. And cut down our opponent's hand. Um, I don't know if we took anything with flying. We'll get rid of that. But he doesn't have any draw there, which is nice for us. Draw a card with our Encyclopedia. Heroic Reinforcements. That's our win condition. And I didn't take a Macro Bay Waltz. I didn't, oh, yeah, I saw one. Oh, there it is. That's nice. So here, we're going to sift twice. So we're going to get six cards. That's going to make it very hard for our opponent to come back. And we're going to get rid of... We're not really scared of their hand, so yeah, there you go. And that's how this deck works. You can see it's just, I have more draw in my hand, I get back Macro Bay Waltz out of the graveyard, then you place in our Salvager of Secrets again, and it just keeps going round and round. You get, you know, six, seven creatures on the deck, they don't even have one, have nothing to play, then we just um, Heroic Reinforcement, slam home, boom, that's game. It's a little chilly in the man cave today. Uh, it's like 20 degrees here, so it is not warm. This isn't the best deck, but we go first. We have two draw, so we're going to go with it. Are they going to mulligan? They did mulligan, and then we're going to duress them as well. The nice thing about Duress, I can't play anything, but he doesn't have any draw there. But people don't like to go down cards in this format at all. So if you play Duress, sometimes they'll cancel to stop it. When they do, well, you're getting rid of a card anyway. So it works out kind of good if they have to cancel. If they don't, well, you just get rid of the cancel. Unfortunately, we're, we're out of draw already. Now, if I had re Heroic Reinforcements right here, if that was this card, I would have played it. I would have slammed home for 15 damage. Yeah, that's a that's a brutal card. Yep. So, we'll see. We need draw. Well, we can get something back. That's good. Uh, we're going to get Revitalize. Draw another card. We're going to get Revitalize again. Draw another card. Give us something better. We are gaining a bunch of life. Aha. So, the other thing about Disperse, I can just pick up Rock's Oracle, play him back, draw another card. Or I could pick up Salvager of Secrets. Put it down, draw another card. It really doesn't matter. Either way, it's kind of fun with the uh, unlimited or no cost to play anything. Give us Sift or Divination. Well, we got another draw. Well, charge through. Well, 
We're out of draw. Well, here we go. They evict us. going to exile something. Yep, I am not surprised. I have nothing that I can play. We're going to let him have that. We don't want them drawing. All right, more drawing for us and more cancel. Okay, Salvager of Secrets. And revitalize, draw again. Well, Not great. Next turn, hopefully. We do get to draw every turn. He is not going to be able to do that because I'm going to cancel it. He doesn't have anything to grab anyway, so there's no reason he should really want to. And yeah, with this and the revitalize and the disperse, we can keep getting these back here. Our land is ramping up. Okay, so it looks like it's you know pretty even game. We get a couple draws. We get heroic reinforcements. This game's over. It can go that fast. Again, nothing. And I'm going to get disperse again. So it's going to be the same thing. Draw with that. Do that. Play. Revitalize. Actually, I, well, I can't get him back. But that's what I'm going to be doing. We're not blocking. Yeah, we're not even going to let him do that. Nope. Huh. Well, disperse again. Aha. That's the card we've been waiting for. What are we going to get rid of? We're going to keep Inspired Charge. I think we're just going to get rid of Cancel. Because we're going to use Act of Treason this turn to attack him. I'm going to use that. We're going to double Sift. And we have a lot of cards. What do I want to get rid of? And... That's a tough one. Because it would be really nice to put Vivictus on top of his graveyard. So I think I am going to get rid of the Inspired Charge. We want Heroic Reinforcements. And now we're going to get rid of... We do need to start getting some creatures out there. How many cards do we have left? 15. So we're going to be drawing a lot of creatures. We don't really have a choice. So, now, first thing we're going to do, evict this back on your library. I was going to act of treason it. I like that better. Now when he casts it, though, I can bone to ash him. Anticipate. Revitalize. Draw more. Then, I'm going to cast that. We're going to get sift out again. We do not need the Gearsmith Prodigy. We're going to do that. 15 or 5 damage. He's at 15 life. Um, we'll get our 7 7 back out. 
and draw a card with Rock's Oracle. I gotta get rid of something. We're gonna do Disperse. The rest of the cards I like. Okay. Rock's Oracle, draw another card. Where's our heroic reinforcements? We're almost at the end of our deck here. There's a Bog Stomper. Uncomfortable Chill. There it is. See, so that's game. Now we do Act of Treason. Take him. And we don't really need to do that. We just play that. There you go. He sees the writing on the wall. And that's that deck. Yep. And that's basically how I've been playing. Just over and over. Next game. Moving on. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I am back. I don't know where our last game must have been. Something must have goofed up. <whistles> Meliking. This ain't bad. Um... They go first, unfortunately, so they can mind rot us, but we have some options. This is a possible very good hand. We're going to keep it. It's really bad to uh, mulligan in this format. Real hard to come back and win. So, there we go. He doesn't get a draw. We draw. Plus, he looks like he mulliganed. Now we can double cast Divination. Well, we're going to do this first, just in case he has Cancel. More draw for us. We're still going to revitalize first. It doesn't look like he has anything. And now we just got to keep drawing. Fill up the board with creatures, and we should be good to go. Well, there's a Bog Stomper. Lava Axe is great. And, as I've shown you, this is going to be real bad for him. Salvager of Secrets. Does he have a Cancel now? Maybe he's got Essence Scatter, which is possible. Or he's just stalling. And we get Divination back. And we're going to get to cast it at least twice more just because we have Salvager Secrets and Disperse. So I cast... You, you've seen it. You know what's going on. Divination. Come on, man. You're killing me here. And that's... Well, yeah, that's fine. I just play it again. And so I'm going to draw one new card that time instead of two. Not a problem. Pick him back up. Play it again. Get Divination back. Uh, I got no Sift in there. We are running low on... Uh, I need more draw cards. Or big creature cards. That's nice. Revitalize. Revitalize. 
So, well, I'll draw with this first. Okay. Nice. Now we have sift. And really, that's game. That's 13. Heroic reinforcements. He has no cards. Haste. And that's why heroic, heroic reinforcements is just brutal in this uh, in this format. It's nice. So we're at what three and three and zip three and zero. Oh. Yep, three and zero. Oh, not doing too bad. It was weird. The last game I was my deck. I didn't have a very good draft. So, but my deck went uh three and three and three. And I got the second pack because of this little 26% bonus pack down here. That was nice. Yeah, I got quite a few quite a few packs to open. I just keep playing this because I don't have all of uh, Core 19 yet, but I'm getting closer with this uh, with this play style. Riot. All right, this is uh, not a great starting hand. We don't have any draw because we don't have anything that we can uh, kill to use blood divination. We're going to keep it because, like I said, Mulligan, he's already down to two. And he's scrying to the bottom, and he's at one. Wow, he's really got a not, a not a great hand. And sorry to make that worse, bud. That's a nice card to have. It just didn't go with what he currently had. We don't have anything either, so we're just go to face and pass our turn. And the draw starts. Rocks Oracle. Draw bad, man. Well, he's out of draw. Hopefully we pick up something. Top deck something good. It would help if I passed. My turn. That ain't something that's great, but we're stopping him from drawing. Put that on the top of the library. I bet I know what you get next hand. Damage to us. Come on, draw me a draw card. I don't have any creatures in there. So still nothing. And he's doing 7 damage to us, plus he's going to have draw. This one could be over. <coughs> Excuse me. Slam. 9. We're down to 9. Oh, there he goes. Drawing. Same card we got, but we have nothing to kill to use. A boar. Still nothing to use. But maybe he has cancel. Maybe not. Yep, we're just getting bad draw. It happens. It's not a big deal. And we're down to five. He's got a lava axe. It's game over. It doesn't look like he does, but you never know. We need draw this hand or it's game. 
And it, it happens. It's not the end of the world one way or another, but... Aha. Uh -huh. That might be just what we need. And I gotta get rid of one. I don't have a single creature, so... Inspired Charge is not what we need. Then, that. Throw it onto the field. I can get back Sift. Start drawing more. And now we have some draw. I'm going to keep cancel just in case. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of disperse. I can get it back if I need to. I'm just waiting for a cancel. Oh, I would really like to take that, but we don't even have a single creature and we need more draw, so I'm going to take the divination. And it's still on our deck. We might be able to even get to it. So, divination, draw some more. Beautiful. Like I said, the the encyclopedia is great because you just keep drawing every every turn. Big bog stomper. And we just keep 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 drawing. That's the name of the game. I guess I'll play that. Woohoo! Plus one because we have an artifact. Now I'm going to do Divination, and I'm going to put the Salvager in the Graveyard, and then I'm going to draw it back with the Macro Bay Waltz. Cast it again, get Sift out. Now we have Act of Treason, so we can steal their Boar if we need to, or even the Knight of the Tusk. And... I guess we'll just draw first with the cards in our hand. Another creature for us. And it, um, Uncomfortable Chill lowers their defense capabilities, which is just fine. Alright. Macabra Walt. I gotta get rid of something. I think I'm going with the cancel. Here, we're going to get the Sift. We're going to double cast it. We still got 15 in our hand, so we're getting down there. Heroic reinforcements should be coming up soon. Well, that's gone because I clicked on it on accident. Get that. Salvage your secrets back out, and this time we're going to take divination. I'm sick of throwing cards in the gra in the graveyard. All right, I might as well just cast that. We're going to get rid of him so he can't block divination. duress. We're down to six. Neither of those can really help him. <laughs> well, we're getting close. Where is our Well, there is our Heroic Reinforcement. We have one card left in our deck. And that's game, guys. We won again. And make them all trample. And we're out. We can't draw anymore, obviously. But we can attack. Oh, well, I guess my camera's off. There we go. Sorry about that. Yep.
that's pretty good. I think we think we managed to win that one. So what are we at now? Four and zero? Or did we lose one? Nope, four and zero. All right, going into the next one. Alrighty, and fantastic zero. It's a real good start for us. He goes first, which is always kind of a bummer, but what can you do? Smush the scorpion. Do, 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 do. Oh, he's pulling Tormenting Voice out. Tormenting Voice is another one. Another great card. It's basically uh, like Divination, but you got a discard to use it. It's nice. I just didn't happen to see one this draft, so. Yeah, now the decks will start to get harder. Oh, see, he's very much like our deck. I seem to have seen all these cards before. Yeah, and there's a, I mean, I've played games and uh, where I've won on turn one before the other opponent even has a chance to move or play one card, and I've had it done against me, so it isn't that rare in this format. If you have enough card draw and the right cards in your hand, you can definitely do it. See, he's already down to 25. We have 37 cards. I find the key, obviously, you got to have something that you can make creatures haste. So, heroic reinforcements is, you have to have it in order to wor uh, win on your first turn before your opponent can even do anything to do enough damage. I guess you could do it with haste creatures and mirror image or something like that, but I haven't seen any of that yet. Come on, man. Creature's starting to come out. More drawing. He's at 19. And I'm just about out of time, even though I've been clicking consistently. And that's the one we didn't want to see. But at least we have divination left. Yeah, and the reason, uh, and cancel. The reason we didn't get to pick anything is just because we were out of time. So we're probably dead. But he's got a good deck for this format. There's not a lot we can do, obviously. And that's the one, the flaw in this. It's like even though I'm clicking, he's still getting all his cards off. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, Gutter Snipe is a good good person or a good creature for this format as well. Yeah. That's it. He can just attack next turn and win. So. Moving on. Hold on a minute. Ah. Well, guys, I'm going to have to cut it short. Thanks for stopping by the Man Cave. Um, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. I will update you on how I did on this run um, later. Or maybe I'll make I'll add on a video at the end. I had something come up. I got to go. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a good day, guys. Hey guys, sorry for having to take off mid-video, uh, mid but I am back now and we're going to continue our run. We're still in the same spot you can see. We're at four wins and one loss, and we're going to continue this, see how we do. Jumping into another game right away. I love this deck. I love this play style. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's not necessarily the, the best or fairest or whatever, but it is a lot of fun, which is good. 
Cotho fed, and this is a horrible starting hand for us. So we're gonna we're gonna mulligan. That one's better. We at least get a couple draws out of it. No, we don't want that. He's got Fountain, which you can pay to and sacrifice to draw a card. And we'll see what happens here. And as you can see, the more we play, the more you just see draw, 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 draw. Gutter Snipe is brutal. I have actually lost to uh, a Gutter Snipe hand on, on turn one. They just put Gutter Snipe out and just kept drawing. And 20 damage later, I was done. Well, let's, let's start our draws. Well, well going to duress. Well, he played it. That's fine. Got rid of it. Same difference. Get back. And draw again. Give us something good. Revitalize is good against a, a deck that's playing uh, Gutter Snipe. Disperse our Salvager of Secrets. Get back our draw. Draw again. And we have nothing. That's alright. He's only got one one card. I mean, he could easily draw into Divination. He could draw into uh, Revitalize. Um, he could be all kinds of stuff. But we'll see. We're gonna wait. You know, we still have 22 life, so it's not a. I mean, at any one draw in this game, he could just automatically just stomp us right here. Pulls the divination, draws again, gets something else, draws again, gets sift, boom, 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 and the game's over. It's. I've seen it happen. I've had it happen to me. Well, we're gonna do that. Then we're going to do that. And we're going to see if he blocks. That's 14, 23. If he doesn't block, it's game. No, it isn't. It's 21. But our next turn, we could get Lava Axe. We could get Sovereign's Bite. So, I mean, we're in dire straits, but he is too. Again, any draw... Yeah, he didn't get a draw. He can attack for six. We did not get a draw either, so unfortunately that's not great for us. If we attack with all... Alright, so... Trample on the twins here is tough for him, so he can block... Four there, six there, he takes one, blocks him, they get through, we're going to attack with all. The trample's tough. So, oh, the trample's only doing one, but we have another one going through, that should be two. Game over. Very strange game, that one. No one had a lot of draw, but twins with their trample and... I will take it. Beam Splitter and another deck for our weekly wins. Now we're at five. One more. One more and we're making money off this run, which is what you like to do. So it's going well for us. Cubino. Again, not a great start. Heroic Reinforcements is great. You can see, just, I mean, I had two creatures on the board play Heroic Reinforcements. Boom. Pressure. Boom. Game. 
Uh, I'm going to mulligan. That way I get to scry too, so maybe that'll help. We have her. We have no draw, but we are going to get the scry. Yeah, we'll take the one we can cast it twice. That gets us two cards if we get a chance. And sit back and watch them. Oh, does he not have a bunch of draw? Or does he? He does not. Mind Rod is useless here, obviously. Beautiful draw. Another beautiful draw. That's good for their next turn. We're going to send the secrets to the graveyard. Draw three cards. <laughs> and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull that right back out and do it again. And this time, we're going to put that back in hand. Cast secrets again. draw some more just keep doing it and keep drawing and revitalize the nice thing about revitalize is you get all that land back to all the health bog stompa the reason I keep the Bog Stomper and not the Salvager of Secrets is just simply it's when we do finally find our uh, Heroic Reinforcements, it's great to have a 6-5 on the board. We are going to crash through first. Nice. Anticipate. Anticipate. I love this card. Now I can double cast my Sift. Cards are down to 24. Man, there you go. He does not like all our draws. Now we're at six wins, one loss. So it's a pretty good run here that we're on. Cue it up. These are the tough decks. Toughest decks, obviously. They're at six wins. Um, but you run into very much decks just like ours. Um, throw cards in the graveyard, pull them out, cast, cast, uh, draw more, draw more, draw more. I go first, and I have a horrible hand. So we have no scry. I only have one draw card. Uh, this could be the game. I got a mulligan. There, better. And I would not be surprised with a cancel. It is not a cancel. Come on, draw something to draw with. Or that. That works just fine. Sift. Or divination. That is not what we got. That's a bummer. What do we got? What are we playing against? Are we blind? Are we? We blind. Well, Packers won today anyway. That's good. Go, Pack, go. Yes, he is getting the draw he needs. We did not get the draw we were looking for. <whistles> yep, Blood Divination. I could use one of those. Would have been fine. 
But like I said, this game might be over already. It just just might be done turn one. I've seen it. Come on, man. He is tearing through his deck. And this is what you see, especially when you're playing uh, six-win decks. They're just brutal. We don't mind that so much, because we can just throw that card out and then do that. <laughs> well, there you go. There's game. He had three... Heroic reinforcements. That's nice. We have one in our deck. That's all we can... All we had, so there ain't a whole lot we can do with that. He definitely has a nice deck. But that's what happens with, happens with draft. You just... You do what you do and deal with the cards that you can draft and then move on. Alright, last one. Yep, yeah, we're 6-2, and two, so we either win and it's over, or we lose and it's over. Be nice to win. It's always nice to win. Dr. Cat. I go first. I get to draw two. That's pretty good. Hopefully we get something to draw more, obviously. That's nice. Divination for us. You holding the cancel for the divination? You is not. All right, pull back our divination. Cast it again. Oh. Maybe he's saving his cancel for that. Just by the pauses, you can tell it looks like he's got something that he can uh, cast on our turn, whether it's Anticipate or Revitalize or um, Trumpet Blast, something like that. That's nice. We're getting rid of his, uh, his CODs. Come on, draw something good, Divination. That is not what we were hoping for. He's got no cards. We have no way to get our card back to its hand. So. We're going to Lava Axe. And Lava Axe. So, Heroic Reinforcement gets us two more creatures that are plus two, plus two, and this creature will be plus three. So, that's plus seven. If I do this, that's 13. So, if he doesn't have a counter, that's game. And he was waiting. Oh, and I can't be countered. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. But I can counter him, and I draw a card. Come on. I 
and he goes to one. Again, he could draw anything and just crush us. Oh, divination, boom. There's crash through, boom. Draw more, draw more, draw more, and it's over. That is great. And that is game. There we go. Well, you saw it here, guys. Seven and two. Thanks for coming by the man cave. Be sure to please like and uh, subscribe. If you have comments, questions, whatever, put them below. I'll be happy to talk to you and answer them. Thanks for coming by. Much appreciated. And uh, we'll claim our prize here. 950 and two decks. Yeah, have a nice day. Thanks for stopping by, guys.